Welcome to February's LeetCode Challenge. Today's problem, the last problem of the month, is maximum frequency stack. Finally finished another month. So, the question is, implement frequency stack, a class which simulates the operation of a stack-like data structure. Frequency stack has two functions, push, which pushes an integer x onto the stack, easy enough, and pop, which removes and returns the most frequent element in the stack. So if we had five ones and four twos, we want to pop off the one. Now, if there's a tie for the most frequent element, then the element closest to the top of the stack, basically the element that's been added the most recently is going to be removed. So how are we going to solve this? Well, initially, like if it wasn't for that tie, this would be pretty simple, right? We can use a counter object, uh, keep track of what the highest frequency is, and then just pop off or return the element that has the highest frequency stack and we can use like a counter object to do that. But the problem is when there's a tie. When there's a tie, if we had four ones and four twos, we don't know which one to return. Uh, we need to keep track of which one was the most recent one. Uh, so that becomes a little bit different. So here, here's what we're gonna have to do. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is create a counter object and this is just gonna keep track of every element and how many times it appears. So if we had one, 10 times, two, five times, whatever. Uh, second thing we'll need is a stack. And what the stack will do, we'll have a default dictionary with all the number of times something appears. So let's say 10 is going to be our key. And we'll have a stack of like all the ones that we added. Um, actually, they're not going to be multiple ones because each time we want to add a new one, what we'll do is say, hey, this one becomes like 11. Then this one will have 11 now. And we'll add the one to the stack here. This way we'll keep track of each one that we added. Now, we also need to keep track of the max frequency somewhere. So as long as we each time we push, we update our max frequency to be the one that's the maximum. Here it's going to be 11, right? What we can do is just say, hey, pop the one with frequency 11 and whatever is in here first. Like we, maybe we add twos uh, later, uh, maybe a three, and they all have about, you know, a count of 11. Then we're going to pop off three first. And once we pop off everything off here, if there's no stack left, we actually will have to decrease our maximum frequency by one. Now our frequency is going to be 10. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's start to code this out. Uh, the tricky part with this is really all these self variables. So first we'll start off with a counter object. Uh, that's simple enough. And now we'll have a stack. I'm going to make this a default dictionary of lists. And these are technically stacks, but whatever, we're going to use them. Um, we're going to use list as stacks, and we'll also have the max frequency, which starts off at, what, zero, right? Alrighty, so let's first figure out how we're going to push this on here. Well, the first thing we probably will do is get our counter object, we'll input our x, and we'll just add one to it. So that's going to keep track of that. Now we need to um, update our max frequency. So this starts off as zero but we want to get the max between whatever max frequency as well as whatever we just inputted here because this might be greater now. So we'll also put that right here. And finally, we want to add to our stack. So we'll get our stack here. Uh, we'll get our frequency that we just have, which would be this self c.x. And we will append to this dx. Okay, so now when we pop off, we already have our max frequency stored, right? So we're going to pop off whatever element comes off first here. So what I'll do is to say this is a candidate. We'll get our self stack um, and we'll get the max frequency here and we'll pop off whatever is the most recently added. So this would be candidate. Now, one thing to note, we're going to have to decrease our counter. So we'll get self dot self dot C with our candidate and we'll subtract one. And we'll also need to see if we need to update our max frequency. So if uh, let's see if self dot stack at self dot max frequency is empty. So if not this then we will get our self max frequency and we'll decrease it by one because uh, surely there's going to be one with 
minus one of that, it could be the same number. It, it could, it might be a different number, right? And finally, we just return our candidate. Okay, so let's see if this works. All right, looks like it's working. So let's submit that. And accepted. So this is actually an O of one time time complexity. Uh, we do use extra space because of all these memories, so it's going to be O of n in terms of memory. But when we return it, you can see it's all O of one, right? We look at our dictionary, um, we pop it off. That's all O of one operations, and then we just return it. So yeah, this one's pretty simple. Um, you know, sometimes. If you might start off with a bad approach, like maybe you start off with a heap or, or something like that. Uh, those could work, but they're a lot more unintuitive. I think this is a way better solution, so uh, we're going to go with this. All right, thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.